by the time we hit summer split, I think everyone was super motivated again. From the start, we weren't talking about making playoffs. We were talking about, guys, can we make worlds? Let's actually do this. Like, we're still not bad. We're quite good. A lot of our issues in spring, I think, had to do with how our team was working with jungle and how our mid jungle specifically was working together. Trick was able to come in and just do a lot of teaching. It, it really, really helped. He brought our mid laner to the next level. And I think now they perform really well as a duo, you know. Uh, the way the roster was designed with um, a very aggressive jungler that I knew would be good at a lot of the meta champions. I had a very good idea of exactly how to draft and play the game from all of my experience, basically at the World Championships for years. And I think we were just ahead. It looked like everything was going well for us. We kind of found this synergy and this play that really, really worked for us and everything was, uh, was going great. For making Worlds, which is, is our goal for me, I, I, I should care if we're fourth or sixth place at the end of the day, but I really don't. It's either you make the World Championships or you do not make the World Championships. I really felt like we could get a good result against Fnatic just because, I don't know, uh, just our form towards the end of the split and playoffs was like pretty good. So I was really confident that uh, we could beat Fnatic there. Even when we were like 0-2, felt like we could do it, but we just started like playing worse and worse as the you know time went by in the playoffs. We lost to Fnatic. I think mostly to bad execution, basically. I wouldn't say Fnatic was necessarily better this day. I think it was bad execution. I mean, as a team, we kind of came in with the thought that like this finals is not that important and we can just use it like as an experience to become better. But our main focus would be the gauntlet in the next week. That didn't mean that we like tried less hard for the finals or something. After seeing Splice play and knowing kind of like the level of like our practice and stuff, I was still fairly confident. Um, I was expecting us to like win. Um, I wasn't really taking it for like granted, you know, but I know going into the series, I wasn't really like doubtful that we won't win. I, I really thought, I really, really thought that we would win. After you lose, and get eliminated from a tournament or get eliminated from a season or whatever. I think the main thing is just, it's really fine to be really upset and really sad. It's just, I think, quite normal. It was a little bit unbelievable because I was only thinking about to go world, you know? Because I really didn't want to go home. But after break, the Nexus, I was thinking, oh, what the fuck, I have to go home. There was like, few Sharky fans and they was shouting Sharky so loud so I really don't, didn't want to lose but we got stomped again you know like even not like 3-1, 3-2 or something and it just was sad. The way we played the last two series against Fnatic and Splice just kind of showed that we don't deserve it to go to Worlds I guess and I was just like shocked that we were in such a good position and then we just like kind of like let it like you know slip because I think all the cards were in our hands to you know make some magic happen and we didn't so we have no one else to blame to blame but ourselves. I was mainly disappointed that because I thought that was like our chance to take it and we didn't manage to do it and I just didn't know like what what I'm gonna do now for like the next four months and like how everything's going to change, what's going to happen next year. Keeping the core of our current team and building around that, I think, would be the best. The reality is we have to prepare for the situation in which we have to rebuild a lot of our team. It's so, already two weeks ago that we lost the gauntlet. We have to review the whole split, but also the whole year. The question is, did we want to keep the players? On the other hand, did the players want to stay at Charco? I'm actually, you know, like, worried if I can, you know, like, find a team. 
has been three years and we had a lot of ups, but it's just time to move on, I think. We agree if we can sign one of these, we should do so. If I can sign both, would you like that? Yeah? This offseason was pretty crazy, for sure. This team can be super, super good. It can actually also fail. Yes, it can. 